are you people? All right, we need to get going, so let's go. Dang it, they got away. PPD, the Paradox Prevention Department. We're from the future, at least the future in your terms. You see, we, we found you a company with a massive energy spike that we've never seen before. We were hoping you could tell something about it. I, um, I can't remember anything. Not even your name? My, my name? Bentley Wilson. All right, Bentley. I'm Bobby Robbie, leader of the PPD, and these are my top agents, Arangelo and Lamangelo. It's a pleasure to meet you, Bentley, but I think I could come up with a better name for you. Not another fruit name. So, when exactly am I? As I said before, you're in the future. You're 2070, to be exact. Wait, so who is that other guy back in the forest? That was Agent 12. He is the WPO's most nefarious cyborg agent. WPO? The World Preservation Organization. We often find ourselves at odds with these extremists. They are far too radical with their use of time travel, which is why we must defeat them in the upcoming election. Our fearless leader, Abner Abs, is going to make some real changes as far as the time travel laws go. Only the PPD is responsible enough to be trusted with it. Yeah, and he's, uh, invincible. Seems like a pretty neat dude. He is. What's so good about him? I'm Joe Schmo, coming to you from the outside of the debate hall where WPO candidate Nerd WT Sideburns and PPD candidate Abner Ebbs are about to have a cordial discussion regarding some important issues. MLG party candidate Charles Bedactor's campaign released a statement today saying that he will be busy playing CSGO and will not be able to participate in the debate. Bedactor is surprisingly rising in the polls for a third party candidate, though his radical views of making time travel a public tool are highly criticized by sideburns and abs. As it stands, Abner Abs is leading the race with a whopping 41% in recent polls. Good evening folks, my name is Samuel Daniel, but you may call me Sammy Danny, and I will be the moderator for this event. A reminder to both candidates to keep it civil. And here are the candidates now. <laughs> Running as a member from the Paradox Prevention Department, entrepreneur Abner Abs made his fort in the old-fashioned way. Beer tractor, a tractor from which you can drink beer. Next up, running as a member from the World Preservation Organization, Nerd W.T. Sideburns. Sideburns is a four-time graduate from Harvard, and he has three PhDs. He also has sideburns. My first question is for Abner Abs. Mr. Abs, do you believe your opponent is truly as incompetent as you claim him to be? Alright, well, I'll give him this. He's braver than the first man eating oyster, and he's got more guts than you could hang on a fence. Excuse me, but I do not believe this is relevant to the matter at hand. I want to discuss my fiscal policies. I believe more money should go to my research product at the WPO. Heck no! Mr. Southburns just wants to take control of all the time travel for the WPO. That luxury is going to be ours back at the PPD, and we're going to have the best pizza party any of y'all have ever seen. I'm not even square dance with yo mama. Gentlemen, quiet down, please. I am the moderator of this event. Clearly, the one capable of wielding this immense responsibility of time travel is a one man, such as I, alongside the WPO. <laughs> well, if that's a fact, then God ain't a possum. Right? Okay, okay, gentlemen, that is enough. Uh, we will be taking a quick commercial break. When we return, I will be asking the candidates their positions on time travel. Man, Abner's sure wiping the floor with that nerd guy, huh? Yeah, he truly stands for the best values in our country. 
Well, I'd say it's about time for some target practice. Bentley, Rupert, you guys want to join? Or should I call you Chirigolo? No. All right, well, let's go. Let me show you how we do things here at the PPD. Here, why don't you try? Okay. Wow, Bentley, that was the best firing of a gun I've ever seen. It just comes naturally, I guess. Are you sure you don't remember where you come from, champ? You know, now that you ask. No, I don't. Well, if it means anything, I think you'd make a fine PPD agent. Chirigulo. Agent 12, what are you? A cyborg. And what are you designed to do? Kill. And... Cook! Obey orders. Then why did you hesitate to eliminate those dastardly agents outside the energy spike? I'm sorry, sir. I gave him my best effort. I do hope, Agent 12, that you have not developed too much sympathy for the enemy. You are not designed to feel. You want to know why every agent before you failed? Emotion. It is a weakness. That is why we began our cyborg program. We cannot allow that hick Abner Abs to obtain the presidency. That is why I'm putting your loyalty to the test. I want you to kill Abs. And do not hesitate or you'll end up like the others. Understood? I patch. So if Lamangelo is your code name, then what's your real name? That doesn't matter anymore. What matters is that the PPD succeeds in maintaining control over time travel. You don't act like the others, so why are you so loyal to this organization? Well, I wouldn't be around if it weren't for the PPD. They took me in under their wing after they saved me from a paradox. I've been an agent ever since. I don't necessarily agree with everything we stand for, but I am loyal to our cause. I will continue to support and fight for the PPD as long as I keep receiving commands. Sounds like blind loyalty to me. Lamangelo, a squad of buggerheads have been seen attacking the armory. Get a move on. Halt. PPD agent surrender. Uh, guys? Surrender, PPD agent. For the last time, there is no we in fries. Not functioning. Looks like one went rogue. Wait, Chirigula, I, I mean, Bentley. You took down this bucket head? Uh, I think so. There's no way he just dropped his weapon like that. You must have fought back. Say, you ever considered being an agent before? Uh, not really my style. Well, you two should get some rest. Tomorrow we got a big day for the presidential race. Abner's visiting the HQ. Oh boy. Tonight. I'm gonna film that junkie track 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 to track for one I made up. Uh, any packs, you have a strategy for us? Oh, we have a strategy, alright. <laughs> Bucket at number 22. Give your report on the raid from the PPD. The unidentified red headed man from 1992 seems to be working with the PPD. He is unquestionably powerful. We were able to obtain some security footage of him from the PPD's main computer. Very interesting. Agent 12? You called? Agent 12, I have one more mission for you. Hey, listen, Rupert, I'm telling you, next pizza party is on me, okay? That right, sounds good, Chip. What is that? Hey, Lamangelo, Rupert, come in here. This needs to be secret. I'm gonna have to secure the door. Okay. Out of all of us, you know Bentley the best. What do you think of this? This Bentley guy could be a powerful ally. We must protect him at all costs. He could be useful in our growing conflict with the WPO. I don't know about this, Lieutenant. He's not just some tool. And besides, we're a diplomatic organization. We shouldn't be solely focused on the conflict. We need to win this election to create a better world for the people, not just to weaken the WPO. The weaker the WPO is, the better it is for the people. I'm willing to do what it takes. Are you, Lamangelo? Yes, Lieutenant. 
This is problematic. All right, Abner, we're gonna leave you alone to get ready. Now listen, we're gonna head off to a private room, but if you get stuck, we'll be feeding you lines through an earpiece. Good luck. All right, you could hang me, but I know that rope would break for sure. I'm in position, sir, ready to execute. Sorry, bud, you're gonna have to drop your weapon. Blazes. I'm at your ass. Mission complete. He's awake. Ah, excellent. Benton, tell me what you remember about February 29th, 1992. How do you know my name? After I stunned you, you dropped your name tag. Now tell us what you know. Why would I tell you anything? The PPD told me you're the bad guys. And why would they say that when they're the corrupt ones? They say time travel should never be used. But tell me this, how did they snag you from the past? Their actions are not righteous. We'll win this election now that Abner is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? <laughs> I killed him. And if you don't cooperate... Whoa! That is enough. Bentley, if you join us, we will kinder your powers to be their peak potential. You goons are no different from the PPD. I'll never work for you. Suit yourself. But that just means we have to kill you. Ha 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 ha! Come, Twelve. I patch. You know the public will never accept a party leader who makes such radical choices. I'll have to step down, but only to get our pu the public off our back. From uh, here on out, Rupert Roberts will take over my position once he gets back from his mission. We must strike back. The WPO cannot get away with killing our candidate, stealing our agent, and winning the election. No, no, this isn't right. If we go through with this, then we're no better than them. We must focus our attentions on recovering Bentley through diplomatic means if we can. Listen, Lamangelo, you don't run the PPD. I do. Go ready the troops. Troops, attention. Attention, soldiers. The WPO will not step over us. The imminent raid on their headquarters will make another place. Lamangelo and Rupert will lead the attack. Seeing as Bentley has been captured, we must make returning him our top priority. Troops, roll out. Yeah! Attention, attention, all bucket heads report to your stations. The WPO is under attack. What's going on? Uh, it turns out we will have to expedite your execution. Agent 12, go ahead. With pleasure. I'd like to see you try. Agent 12, I don't care if it's the last thing you do. You must kill Benley Wilson. Directive confirmed. Mission initiated. Good. Meanwhile, I will be escaping to a remote location. Don't forget to go get your patch. All right, Arangelo, hit the lights. All right, we need to find Bentley. Let's go. All right, let's split up. We'll cover more ground. I had a round before we cover the door. I'll look around. Bentley! You escaped? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any specific orders to kill you, but knowing a PPD agent is dead would bring me pleasure. You can't even think for yourself. You're just a cyborg designed to kill. And you're just a weak-minded agent, complying to anything that Booby Ruby says. We'll see about that. Oh! 
Angelo, no! This isn't over, Bentley. We'll meet again. Thank you for saving me, Bentley. It lets me back up with the team. I'm not going back to the PPD. But why? We saved you. I can't involve myself in this ideological war. I have to go learn more about these powers that I seem to possess. I understand, but... Bentley, can we count on you to help us in a crisis if we need it? I suppose. It's been an honor knowing you, brother. Until next time. He got hit in the face, but it's nothing a bit of plastic surgery can't fix. Oh, well, let's go get him patched up. Oh, man. What's Bobby gonna say? You what? How could you let escape? I let him go. He didn't deserve to be used by us or the WPO. It just wasn't right. This is unacceptable. Let's hope your incompetence doesn't cost us. Just look at how the news is portraying us. I'm Joe Schmo with a breaking news update about the 2070 election. PPD presidential candidate Abner Abs has been assassinated by a mysterious agent believed to be working with the WPO. Also, IG Patch, leader of the WPO, resigned this morning. In other news, the WPO presidential candidate Nerd WT Sideburns has dropped out of the race. His statement reads, and I quote, By my calculations, the probability that I still want to be president is 0%. End quote. This leaves only the MLG party candidate, Charles Bed Actor. But Actor's polling numbers have been up in recent days despite his radical views. It seems people are really getting tired of the two main parties. Here we have Charles Bed Actor now. Yo, 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 what's going on guys? 100%. Yeah. All right, Charles, how do we feel about probably winning the November election now? I mean, it was a fair game through and through, you know? Assassinations happen. I mean, time trial for all. Who, who really doesn't like that, you know? Well said, well said. Uh, any any other comments regarding the 2070 election? Anything you want to say to the WPO or PPD? Good luck. Good, Good luck, luck, he says. All right, thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Whoa! What do you think about Charles Bid Actor being the only candidate left in the 2070 election? I think it's good! There you have it, folks. Charles Bid Actor seems to have this in the bag. Everything is clear now. I have a power that no being before me has ever wielded. The WPO and the PPD, they're pointless. Two sides of the same corrupt coin. Neither can hold a firm grasp on this world or what it means to be in power. Nobody can contain me anymore. I'm not someone who is used. I am someone who leads. I am the only one fit to rule this inconsequential world. Those around me are but mere pawns in my chess game. The Mandrela was foolish to put his trust in me. Perhaps he will blindly follow me someday as he has followed the PPD. Agent 12, however, is undoubtedly the biggest obstacle in my way. The chaos that is to come, I will surely eliminate him. After the pieces are in place, my empire will reign. been requested. Very well, you may enter. Rupert Roberts, you've been undercover for a long time. I hope you're not too attached to those PPD agents, because it's time to betray them. Ha! <laughs> you must be joking, I've been ready for that from the start. The WPO is going back in time to 2016 to kill Charles Bedactor so that he doesn't become president and make time travel public. I suggest you and the PPD meet us there. I'm sure the PPD will be eager to go once they receive intel that the WPO will be there as well. I look forward to taking out the president and eliminating the PPD.